Hey, welcome back to Unusual Pets. We have another unboxing to do, so let's get into it. So we've been gifted this awesome box by the beautiful Raymond. He's such a nice guy and he even wrote a little letter. Um, it actually does say what's in here so it's not a massive surprise to me. But I have uh, read it and I'm like, oh wow. So I'm going to show you everything we got in this box. Um, he is such a nice guy. Um, he's apologised for the packaging but to be fair it's perfect packaging. So and I'm going to be able to use it for putting in with my rats because they will love digging through that so so the first thing that we got in here was some some porcelio scaber um but they're the dairy cow ones i've had these before i put them in with my crested gecko but i'm pretty sure she ate them all so um this is going to be absolutely epic to have these again in my um collection i'm actually going to set these up as their own colony and um, it says there's like 50 in here so this could be interesting okay so the next thing we got was these powder blue isopods um, I have got a little small tiny colony of these but they're not doing very well so these will actually help a lot. The next thing we got is these which is baby bumblebee millipedes, 10 of them um, and also some dwarf, uh, dwarf white isopods. Um, really excited to get these little guys set up so they're really awesome. So the next thing that we got is the Armadillidium uh, gastroi, um, which are absolutely lovely. Um, I haven't looked in the tub yet, I'm going to film setting them up, but these are really awesome. The next thing that we got is the Armadillidium vulgare, there's about 20 in here. Um, it says 20 plus, so it says gem mix. Um, I was looking at these when Phil got some, and they are absolutely beautiful. So I'm actually really excited about these. The next thing that I pulled out of the box is this, which is the Armadillidium Pecky. Um, I think that's how you say it, or Pecky, I don't really know. These are very, very cute. Um, I think I possibly have some of these, um, but we couldn't work out what they were called. So they look very similar. I'm not going to put them together though, I'll set them up as a completely separate colony. Um, those ones are in with my... Um, uh, uh, slugs in my pancake slugs so um, I'm going to put these in a completely separate colony and finally the last two are the Kubaris um, ones so this one I actually already have um, some of which is Kubaris species panda king um, really excited though because I can add some more bloodline um, I absolutely love the panda kings um, they're one of my favourite uh, little um, ones, that's why Phil gave me some ages ago um, and then Terry bought me some extras but they've been breeding really well so um, yeah I will add these to my colony or I might set them up as a second colony, I'm not sure yet but there's, it says about 15 plus so that's amazing um, and then finally we've got these which is the um, Cubara species penguin um, I absolutely love these. There is one more thing, I, I keep saying finally, but there is one more thing, but I'll show you in a second. But these are absolutely adorable. Um, I love all the Cubaris. Uh, the rubber duckies are my favorite. Unfortunately, we haven't got those yet, but I will be buying some off film when they're ready. And finally, we got some Hoffman Seggy. Right, so I'm gonna be able to show you these. These are absolutely humongous. Um, we can get one out. Uh, there's about 10 in here, which is perfect for a starter colony. These are ginormous isopods. Look at the size of these. And they are absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't believe how cool these are. These are way bigger than I was expecting. These are actually going to be epic to use in our shows. Um, we can actually show children these and they'll be able to see them, which is really, really cool. Um, obviously, some isopods are really tiny. But because these are so huge, we're going to be able to show children exactly what isopods look like up close because they can see a bit better than what you can see on a little one. So, so welcome back. Um, I um, changed because I was needing to have a shower, so I went and had a shower, and now I've got to rehouse these isopods. I'm going to have to have another shower later, but I just was boiling, so I had to have a shower. Anyway, um, I'm going to rehouse these now. Really, really excited about this. We're going to start off with um, the bumblebee millipedes and then we're going to move on to all the other things so stick with me. 
um, we'll get all these things rehoused in this video. Thank you very much for sticking with it and uh, I can't wait to show you what all the animals as they're moving around and stuff. So this is the Bumblebee Millipedes tub. Um, I've got my um, ice pod soil mix in here, the soil from their enclosure as well because I have added the dwarf whites in. Um, you might be able to see a couple there moving around, they're really little, um, but they're really awesome little um, isopods. And then we are going to release these into here as well. So these were bumblebee millipedes. Um, there's some really little ones, there's about 11 here. Um, it said 10, there might, be, there might be more in there because they're really little, but they, I found one tiny one, so we're just gonna dip them into their new enclosure. Give that a little tap, make sure there's none stuck. And there we go, some of them are already moving around. in their new enclosure and we're going to add a couple of pieces of this white wood um, for them to hide under they've got lots of leaf litter in there as well um, but what I might do is I might crumble an extra few bits into the top um, the humidity should be okay in there it's quite um, it's got quite moist soil it's not too damp not too dry but um, I can give it a little spray down if I need to but they should be fine so again we've got my own ice pod mix, this one is a bigger tub, this is one of the Bra Plus. These are not permanent, um, these are just until I can get um, over to um, Wilco's because they've got some really nice tubs that I want to get for them. Uh, they match my uh, cockroach tubs, so, um, but they're smaller, they're just deeper than, a lot deeper than this because this is not deep enough. Um, but they will survive better in here, um, they're about the same size as this, they're just deeper. Um, so they will be perfectly fine in there. I just don't want to um, leave them in the little tiny tubs um, for too long. So we're going to give them a little bit bigger a space. It's still not huge, but it's going to be nice for them. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rehouse the powder blue isopods. Um, so the powder blues are in here and we're just basically going to sprinkle them in on top. As you can see, they're all doing a runner, uh, running around. There is tons in there. We'll just spread it out a little bit there we go so they can find their way around very very cute little ice pods um as you can see so the next thing we're going to actually rehouse is the um awesome dairy cow isopods um the dairy cow isopods are the Pacelio um uh Scaber or Lavis Dairy Cow. Um, I don't remember which one, but it's um, I think it's Scaber. Uh, these ones are really really cute as well. And um, they got some really cute little markings on them, um, as you can probably see here. Um, there's a little one there, and uh, yeah, they're gonna be really happy in this little enclosure. And um, these ones are kind of protein hungry, so you need to give them a bit of extra protein. And um, so we'll pop some food in for them in a little bit. We'll just get them set up for now. So this setup is very similar. Um, it's just gonna be for the uh, Pechi or pa Pecky. Uh, I cannot pronounce this, but yeah. Basically it's for that one. Um, these are really cute little ice pods. Like I said, I've already got another colony, which is in with my pancake slugs. Um, but I'm gonna put these in here and keep a separate colony because I'm not 100% those other ones are these. Uh, however, they do look exactly the same. Uh, so there's one little guy and there's another one behind the leaf there. They're really cute, um, really cute little isopods. They look very similar to the Cubaris, um, but they are not, they are uh, Armadillidium. So the next thing we're gonna be rehousing is the Armadillidium Gestroy or Gastroy, however you wanna say it. I'm not very good with these names, um, but yeah, they're gonna go into a very similar tub. Uh, we're gonna release these in here and these have beautiful markings on them. Uh, you'll be able to see now. Um, I'll just move the leaf litter for you and you'll be able to see they have absolutely gorgeous yellow speckles all over their back. Um, these armadillidium are stunning. Um, there's lots of different types of armadillidium but I do really really like these bright coloured ones. They definitely make it pop in your enclosure. So this is another armadillidium. This is the armadillidium vulgare. Um, if you have a look um, th these species um, they are stunning they have all different colors they're called a gem mix 
and they're called gem mix because they come in different colours within their colony. Um, so as you can see we've got quite a few white coloured ones here but there's also some like dark grey ones and there's also some red orangey coloured ones. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, you've got to absolutely love these such pretty um, different coloured species. Okay, so this is the Panda Kings, it's only a quick video. Um, that one there, if honest, back, um, I had to push it back over. Um, this bit I didn't show you, show me actually pouring them in because of what well, I tried to, but I forgot to press record, so yeah. Um, there you go. And then this one is the Cubara species penguin, which is such a cute species. Again, I love these isopods. Um, they're just so small and they have really cute little faces. It's hard to explain why they're cute, but they definitely are. Um, so these are penguins due to their markings and they actually are really pretty. I, I do really like this species. And then finally we have the Hoffman Segi. These are huge. I'm going to pick one up now to show you the size of it on my hand. Um, they are absolutely ginormous um, isopods. Compared to any of the other isopods, these are um, this way they're called the Titan isopods, I guess, but they're absolutely humongous. Um, there's about 10 in there. Um, here he is walking around on my hand. He's so cute. Um, well, well happy with these. Um, they're really awesome, plus they're going to be really easy to show children. Um, ignore the state of my hands. been obviously digging in the dirt, but you know, that's life. <laughs> So this little bit of footage here is just me showing you what I put in afterwards. I went through all of them, gave them a bit of moss, a bit of uh, white wood, just to hide under and stuff. Um, gave them a little bit of food. This one was for the um, dairy cows. So um, I gave them some fish sticks, some extra protein and stuff. And yeah, it's just a quick showing you what um, I set them up like for now. So I've just been chilling, lying on my sofa, relaxing, making this video. I realised I didn't do an outro. So I'm back to make a quick outro. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much Raymond, you've been an absolute star, um, you're one of a kind, I will pay it forward because I'm a massive believer in karma um, and I do believe in paying it forward so I will definitely be doing that in some way, I will figure out how, I just need to work it out. Um, I am however doing some giveaways soon on my channel so maybe I might do some extra giveaways or something, I'll try and figure it out but um, I will definitely pay it forward. Um, I'm yeah just so busy at the minute with everything but just to let everybody know that we are on at this moment of making this uh, we are on 996 subscribers so we're only four away from making that thousand mark um, whether or not that'll go down a little bit or up a little bit I'm not sure yet because uh, sometimes it drops when you hit a thousand but that's fine we'll get back up but yeah basically we are getting there, so <laughs> thank you everybody for supporting this channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm going to try and make content a lot more um, uh, consistently now. Um, I have been trying very hard. I've just had a lot going on, uh, but I am going to be putting a lot more effort into the channel. Um, I appreciate everybody who's stuck by me through all this and is stuck by everything that I've uh, been doing. I really do appreciate you. Um, if you've been here from the beginning, comment and tell me when you've been here since. Uh, let me know when you started following because um, genuinely I would love to know each and every single one of you um, you are all absolutely amazing thank you so much um, I'm just trying to think of all the stuff I've got to say sorry I keep looking away but yeah I have to let you all know about the steam rally and country fair that's happening this weekend in Fox or Fields Monmouth um, so if you put that into Google Maps it will come up with the address uh, it's Vauxhall Fields Monmouth like Vauxhall like like the way that you spell the car um yeah so if you um meet us there that'll be amazing uh if you want to come we'll be doing an animal show um with inverts and reptiles uh we will have heating and stuff in there which we're uh, sorting out at the minute but yeah we've got a lot going on at the minute like i said we are super super busy so um hopefully have a video up for you monday um but i'm hoping it'll be either the weekend a video about the weekend or it's going to be another video I'm not really sure yet um, if it's another video it's going to be a short one um, but yeah we will definitely um, be doing one Monday and um, yeah so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe thank you again everyone who has already I love you all so so much and I will see you in the next one also don't forget to like and comment when you've been following since okay love you all speak to you soon bye